Well, just like that, we are back. What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Put your seatbelts on, because oh my goodness, fellas, we got a whole lot of drama. This is really going on in video games right now. I cannot believe it. You're not going to believe it. We had the Concord situation, Shadows of the BBC situation with Assassin's Creed, where we had Captain BBC. Now we got Queen BBC, guys. So salute to Queen BBC. Dragon Age, the Whale Guard had to include the Queen BBC and, and man the drama is so severe that we're also hearing that Bioware is looking to abandon the game. Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Guys I gotta give everybody equal chances, shout out to the homie Asman Gold, roll it. Insider told me that refunds are skyrocketing for Dragon Age Veilguard and whole Trump thing has caused Bioware devs to lose their collective minds. Uh, Legacy Gaming Media who assured us all Dragon Age Veilguard was a total success, the game didn't just underperform, it cratered. Oh well, hardly 75,000 pre-orders fit less than 500,000 copies sold and 30,000 refunds no man man say psych say it's psych say psych right now say psych right now so you were saying that people are refunding and then this happens shout out to the homie nereon roll it hey guys nereon here say bioware psych. is becoming increasingly more radical in their damage control for dragon age the veil guard from organizing an orchestrated positive review campaign of journalists praising the game using the same phrases to only sending review uh. posts to content creators willing to shill for the game to now even banning streamers from dragon age communities for being critical of certain aspects of the game mm. one of which being asmongold they had already blacklisted him by not sending him a review copy but but now they went a step further and straight up banned him and his community from interacting with the Dragon Age community. This is insane, right? Now, if you like him or you don't like him, that's different, right? But to ban him and also ban people that watch him is just ludicrous, man. Holy crap. Because normally, yes, right? Like if you if you're an influencer. Influencer, I, I get it, right? Because if, if you're an influencer, influencer, and you're gonna say negative things about a product or a game, they don't want to work with you. Makes sense, though. Generally speaking, there would be like one or two company, even if you say something negative, they will keep on working with you because they might really care for your opinion that where they want to improve their product and they're so big that they don't care if you say not if you say something good or bad they know their product is uh gonna be sold no matter what like people gonna buy sec is gonna buy no matter what an influencer gotta say they just want the eyeballs on it right they just want people seeing it right that that's what they care about but generally speaking it don't work like that. You say one bad thing about the game, you're blacklisted. You're gonzo, you're donezo, you're finato. It's over, it's Joe over. Essentially, that's how it works, okay? But to then, like, completely blacklist a YouTuber <laughs> and blacklist his uh, viewers as well. Oh, man, that is crazy, okay? Let's find out why. Let's find out why. And you know what? I need to salute this, salute this gentleman real quick. This is a universal principle. Universal principle. The more you F around, the more you find out. So if you're gonna F around, let's just say, on the level 7, you better believe it. You're gonna get 7 back as well in the find out meter. Roll it. Something that's not being received all that well by players. Bioware's attempts mm. to make the discourse around the game look all positive the keep game. backfiring. Fans mm. and gamers in general don't like the game and the player count is underperforming expectations. It's getting so bad. It's still crazy that the game sold 500, half a million. I mean, it's because like Dragon Age is, uh, it's a beloved series. It is a beloved series, but the refunds are very high. Pre-orders are low and they're thinking about abandoning the game. That 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 goes to show you like where we are at right now. I mean, simply put like, and, and yeah, some of you guys are uh, probably going to play. You guys don't like certain aspects, but you still enjoy the game. Yeah, like that. that's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's your money, your time with it. You, you, it's your time, right? You wanna you either gonna choose to invest your time into playing the game or you're not simple as that simple as that but i'll simply say this man don't let your kids play this game unless uh if you got kids little siblings don't let them play this game man genuinely but if you want them if you want your kids looking like this when they get older then surely let them play the game but if you don't want your kids looking like this when they get older don't let them play simple i mean we, we don't even have to complicate it Simple as that, simple as that. Add that Bioware is now abandoning the game early, scrapping all ideas for future content and focusing on Mass Effect instead. We have a lot to Brand. go over, so let's get started. Uh -oh, Starting off with go, this boys. headline that's making the rounds online. Asmongold and his community have been permanently banned from the Dragon Age subreddit. The story- 
it's not as mangold it's as mangold okay come on man as as not as come on bro that's going quite viral currently. I'm like joking. him or not, he's one of the biggest streamers in the world. And banning him and his entire community to make the discourse around the game look more positive just makes you seem desperate and dishonest. Something he already made statements about on YouTube, Twitch and on Twitter in this tweet. Apparently the moderators over there believe my subreddit has an inferior culture, which justifies banning all of us. Disgusting, the level of racism you can get away with on Reddit nowadays. And he's obviously making a joke here, referencing what happened to him recently. With the inferior culture statement and the racism controversy that got him banned. But it's shocking to me how many people in the comments don't get the joke or aren't able to understand sarcasm. In his statement, he stated that the moderators called his community an inferior culture, even put it in quotation marks. Yet people here think that he somehow meant that his community only consists of white people somehow. I thought the brain rot is bad on Reddit, but Twitter isn't. Hey man, listen, as a brown man, bruh, as a brown man, I am sick and tired of everybody using the race card bro like i swear to god man as a brown man bruh i'm sick and tired i'm as i'm sick and tired right now man we they be doing crazy things to captain bbc's they be doing crazy things to queen bbc's where is my representation where is my representation where is my representation where is my <laughs> where is my representation suckers i'm joking ron i i'm not desperate for representation all right let's continue isn't that much better. But we're drifting off here. The core of the issue isn't his response, or people's response to his response. But it's the fact that the Dragon Age subreddit banned one of the biggest streamers. A streamer that was even helping and promoting their game by streaming it to a massive audience. And what does he get in return? He gets banned from participating Bumble in public discourse around the game on Reddit. And the Bumble crazy Bumble part Bumble. is, they banned not just him, but his entire community as well. Something that he reacted to when it was brought to his attention live on stream. What's happened is that the Dragon Age subreddit has banned basically everybody from commenting. Like anybody who comments on my subreddit and then comments yeah. on Dragon Age gets automatically banned. Uh, update, I just got Damn. auto banned from the Dragon Age sub because I also subscribed to Asmongold. They felt Holy. I already violated community rules. Quote, Bruh. it's not in the rules. My comment was regarding how long it takes to get through Inquisition story. I think Bioware is weaponizing a new sector of marketing to control the narrative on all fronts. Well... If they're trying to control the narrative, they're doing a really, really bad job. Just tested it and it got banned for this GIF. I wonder if... Okay, so what if I... They got like auto okay, mod... Uh, they got moderators, right? They got uh, auto... It's about. It's auto okay. ban some crap like that. Auto moderation. What? Bumblecloud, bro! Post is waiting approval. Am I pre-banned? Am I pre-banned? And there we go. He refreshes and deletes the post. Are they in the room with us right now? Are they watching the stream? No fucking shot. Are you kidding me? Did I get banned? I, I, I can't post. I actually cannot post anymore. Within less than <laughs> one minute, my post- Damn, brother got thrown in that Dragon Age jail though. I'm excited for Dragon Age. Stop right there, criminal scum. Wow, how inclusive of them. Bioware is yeah. all about inclusion, except Diversity. if you belong to a certain group. Diversity, strong, independent, but men are always wrong. wrong. Then they're all for discrimination. People are apparently breaking the rules now by simply existing. They're banning people that didn't even do anything wrong just for being part of a community they don't like. That sounds pretty much like the racism those people at Bioware would be the first ones to complain about if any other group was targeted. But because Gaming. they don't like Asmongold, they're banning him and anyone who ever commented under his posts. I really thought that gaming was for everybody. <laughs> don't don't they? Yeah, right. Don't they always say gaming is for everybody? Everybody. Where is everybody in this, huh? Like, where where is this? Does not include everybody. This does not include everybody, bruh. Like, what the hell is wrong with y'all circus, man? Y'all banning thousands of people, millions of people. Okay, millions of people. That would be like exaggeration. But yeah, they are banning thousands of people. Man, and this is what you do to Queen BBC as well? Damn! What the hell? It was a king that became a queen, right? I guess welcome to the... Oh no, it was, was it a brother that became a sister or a sister that became a brother? I almost said it was a sister that became a brother, so I was almost... I almost said, hey, welcome to the brotherhood. Bruh. But no, nah, it's not a brother. It's a, it, it, was a, it was a brother that became a sister, right? Could be wrong. L correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
But it's not but it's Queen BBC right now. It's Queen. Only is that dumb, because by doing that, they could ban a lot of people that don't even agree with Asmongold, but it also presents them as openly willing to silence criticism. And as we all know, trying to silence criticism is a really good sign of confidence in the quality of their product. Mm -hmm. They were so confident mm -hmm. in the quality of Veilguard that they only sent out review copies to streamers that would agree to praise the game. But if they voiced just the slightest bit of criticism, they already didn't get a copy of the game. And this is why so many content creators weren't able to review the game early. From Asmongold to Luke's Stevens to plenty of other channels focused oh, on games. Crap. Even, even those focus on Yo, even Luke Stephen? Yeah, he uh, he runs the channel. He's very like uh, I would say uh, he stays away from drama, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even he was not I believe he did touch the the wall crap that's happening in video games from the sidelines. I guess that's why they 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 blacklisted him too. That is crazy. So again, it's like rules for thee, not for me kind of stuff, right? Hey, diversity but in the name of diversity, they're banning everybody. They're blacklisting everybody. That that's basically what it, what what it is now, Brad. Like the, you guys screaming diversity from the rooftops, from the top of your lungs, and you banning everybody. How does that even make sense? Make that make sense, bro. Make that make sense. Like what the, what what is going on right now? What is going on right now? Where's my uh, facepalm homie at? Yeah, man. This is uh, this is all of us right now, bro. This is all of us right now. God damn. RPGs or Dragon Age specifically didn't get a review copy, simply because mm. they weren't 100% positive in their earlier videos on Dragon Age. Bioware yeah. wanted to strictly control the discourse around the game before it launched, to make it look like everyone who played it early loved it, from journalists to streamers to YouTubers. Of course it's disingenuous to only send out a game to people that will give it a good rating, because it's going to mislead the public into expecting a great game and thus pre-ordering it or buying it close to launch, only to then have a big disappointment and waste of money waiting for them. But what does Bioware care about that? They only care about how much money they can make with this. With this game and the marketing they ran for it, they showcased how little they care about gamers, Dragon Age fans and the franchise as a whole. They didn't toxic gamers, toxic gamers. bring back the developers of the old Dragon Age games, but instead hired a bunch of political activists with little to no experience or talent when it comes to writing or making games, but with a big interest in pushing their political ideology onto a massive guaranteed audience. And it clearly shows itself when you play the game itself, and hear the disastrous dialogue and the problems you have to deal with in-game. When no. I see my child in danger, uh, I act. Yeah. Here's the ginger. The ginger? Here's the ginger? Thank you. Oh man, on behalf of my ginger homies that are watching this video, I am offended. I am I am offended. Okay. Very much if you're if you're if any of my ginger homie watching this video, bro, I got you, man. I swear to god I got you, man. These things always get offended, right? Now we're offended. Now we're offended. Now we're offended. They're gonna ban us, man. They are like, hey diversity, strong, independent, inclusivity, yay, we 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 and then they ended up banning everybody. They ban everyone. I am offended on that. I'm offended on behalf of my ginger homies. I'm offended on behalf of everybody, man. I'm offended. I'm offended because of what they're doing right now. Now, where are my rights? Where? Uh, yeah, I need. I, I need some sympathy, man. I need some, you know, pat on the back too sometimes, Kaji. But this like is crazy. Damn, the way he walks. Crazy. So I'm non-binary. What does that mean? It means I don't feel like you. You just serve ginger, and then you say that. What the hell? A man or a woman? If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. If this is because I have criticized your dress or your manners, it isn't. I know she's your mother, but I don't like her. <sighs> That's the current state of Dragon Age. Fight okay, we're gonna let him figure out whether he's a man or a girl, okay? We're gonna let him figure out. Fighting dragons and goblins needed to be cut down in order to make time for scenes where you, as Tash, come out of the closet to your mother at the dinner table. And where all the choices you get to make all lead to reaffirming Tash. Not a single one is able to cause any strife between you two. Or scenes where Isabella, the pirate captain, lectures us gamers about how disrespectful it is to misgender someone. The same character that used to be ruthless and all about sex, murder and that pirate life. This is the state of storytelling that we're at right now. Dialogue is only there to lecture the audience. Characters are being abused to fit the agenda that's being pushed. And you mm. as the player have no other choice other than to agree with the writers. Criticism, even if it's not targeted at the political aspects, is not tolerated. And if you're a content creator, you even get blacklisted by Bioware. And yeah, when you're a public crazy. figure like Asmongold, who dares to criticize something like the art style and to say that it looks worse than Concord, or who... <laughs> 
Asmongold crashes Biowares. <laughs> Upcoming Dragon Age, the Whale Guard looks like a mobile game. It does. This is actually worse than Concord. Yeah, I. Uh, it does yeah, look like. Uh, okay, is but is it actually worse than Concord? I haven't played, uh, so I don't know. To be fair, though. I don't know, yeah, but it's like a subjective thing, but uh, this is something that I agree with, it looks like a mobile game, it does, but this is actually worse than Concord, on that one, I don't know, I feel like both of them are bad, both of them, of course, both of them are bad, but I'm not sure which one is worse, it feels like that whenever we think something is worse, the next game that comes out is even more worse than the last one, so... We're always upping the standard, or lowering the standard, rather. <laughs> but disagree publicly with a lot of the identity politics of this game, or if you're even just a fan of him, you are not allowed to be a part of this game's communities. Of Bruh. course, in Esmongold's case, they had to Bruh. think of something else as the reason why he and his community are banned from the game's Reddit. It's They're not because he and his community mostly dislike the game and disagree with its narrative, but they claim that it's actually just because he and his community are such hateful individuals, and because they disagree with his narrative. Because of course, you're not allowed to oppose wokeness. Hello, you've been permanently banned from participating in Dragon Age because you broke this community's rules due to too many repeated infractions of our civility and bigotry rules from users of this community, Asmongold. We have decided to... B did it really say, like, he broke, like, bigotry rules? <laughs> I believe it says woke culture, but that's what it means, okay. So he did, uh, did he, like, actually add bigotry? <laughs> Yo, run that back, what is going on, man? Oh no, it does say! It does say, oh, oh my shit. god! Oh my god, it does say! Unfortunately, note from the moderators, holy crap! I thought it was a joke. I thought he was just adding that in just for like uh, memes purposes, but it says this. Ability and bigotry rules from users of this community, Asmongold, we have decided to automatically revoke access to our subreddit as a preventative measure so that our community at large can focus on actual criticisms of the game without getting involved in the war against woke culture. I have been permanently banned. Based, banned, bald. <laughs> but no, no, what I typed is that I was excited. Uh, I'm really excited for Dragon Age Veilguard. I can't wait to play it. We are Bioware. We want to have games that are inclusive to everyone. Except for anyone who we think might criticize or disagree with us. Then you're banned. It's a disingenuous way to control public discourse around the game. They did it ever since before the game even released, and now they're still continuing to do it. But the problem is, that once the game was out, there was a huge influx of honest reviews. Actual gamers got the chance to play it and form themselves their own opinion. And what we got was a stark contrast between the positive critic, <laughs> aka journalist reviews, and the reviews of actual gamers. Which uh, and apparently I'm hearing that they did remove a lot of uh, reviews and the score jumped up afterward right but initially it was like 2.4 2.7 what you're seeing but then the reviews got taken down crazy it goes to show you like what's going on right and, and these uh paid shills reviews fake reviews right sitting at 84 bro if you're gonna give a game 84 anything above like 60 that means the game is above average right 80 that game is excellent that game is amazing that's what it means. And if you're gonna give a game 70, that means the game is genuinely good. Right, guys? Come on, man. What are we talking about? Not every game is gonna be 10. Like, I feel like that nowadays people just give it 10 out of 10 just like that. Or 0 just like that. For sure, a Dragon Age, the Whale Guard is not a 0, but I think it's it's a 2. It's a 3. Right? It, yeah, that I agree with. It's definitely a 2 or 3. It's not 84. <laughs> Bro, if this game is 84, then... What about Black Myth Wukong? That's right, IGN gave it like 7 out of 10 to that. Right? Crazy. I believe I IGN gave this game 8 out of 10 or something. Could be wrong. Let me know in the chat. I lost count, man. I, I Listen, man, IGN reviews don't even matter no more. It's like... Comedy Age, right surprise, now. we're much more negative. Which makes sense. I would be a lot more critical too if I wouldn't get paid any money for a positive rating. And yet, even though it had so much marketing Bruh. and fake positive word of mouth, the game still disappointed in terms of player count on its first weekend. It Age peaked 19. at 89,000. Which would be good, or even great, for smaller games. But yeah, for yeah. a game this size, nowadays, with all this money behind it, that's disappointing. Especially when compared to other games, like the beta of Monster Hunter Wilds, which released the same weekend and drastically outperformed Veilguard. Because while Dragon Age the Veilguard peaked at 89,000, which already dropped down to 65 just two days later, Monster Hunter Wilds peaked at 463,000. That's more than five times the peak of concurrent players that Dragon Age achieved. Something that even journalists are admitting is concerning. 
and Bioware seems to not be all that committed to keeping Veilgut alive, cause they already announced that there's not going to be any DLCs or expansions. They dropped it as soon as it launched, and now want to jump ship to Mass Effect instead. Which hey, great, I can't wait for them to ruin Mass Effect 2 now that they're done with Dragon Age. Now they're coming for a franchise that I care about. A lot. With this team of devs that they've got there now at Bioware, I don't want to see them anywhere near Mass Effect. But the old team of devs that- It's over. It's over. Pack it up, man. It's over. Anthem. If you thought Anthem was like the peak of EA. Oh my goodness. Now Mass Effect, right? Mm. Mass Effect's next, guys. Mass Effect's next on the chopping block. Made the original trilogy is gone, and Bioware would never bring them back. Just like with Dragon Age. The old team of fans was let go and replaced with a bunch of activists. Untalented, unqualified, and ready to ruin everything we care about in order to insert their agenda. I miss the times where you could be excited about a game announcement. Especially for a franchise that you care about. But nowadays, that excitement got replaced by fear. Fear yeah. of having to attend... He's right, you know, because I'm thinking about the next God of War game. I'm scared for Kratos. I feel like that Kratos is no longer going to be Kratos. He's going to be Kratosy. <laughs> Stacy, perhaps. Uh, Kratos' name is going to be changed to, yeah, Stacy. Stacy! I, 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 I am strong. I am strong. I am independent. I am independent. I have a son by the name of Atreus. <laughs> You know, I'm scared for God of War. I'm scared for God of War. I feel like that Kratos is gonna be Stacy or Kratosy. Rhymes, yeah, Kratos C rhymes with Stacy, so. Yet another funeral of an IP that you used to love. To stop mm. that, we have to make our voices heard. By making videos, by writing comments, and, most importantly, by not supporting awful games and awful companies. One of which being Bioware. That's why I created this channel, to turn the tide, <laughs> to save the industry. And I think that we'll be able to do it. So, let's hang in there, together. But tell me your thoughts in the comments. Cause that's salute to the homie Nerion, salute to the fallen angels, man. Salute to all of you suckers watching this video, man. Salute to everybody, man, that is trying to make gaming better, man. Salute to everybody that's speaking their truth. Salute to everybody that is, that don't have any, uh, like, you know, none of this, that, that's not buying all that bull squash, man. You feel what I'm saying? Check out this video on the screen. Recently, we ended up getting like PS5 Pro gameplay, you know, PS5 Pro gameplay. A comparison with Xbox and PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the normal one, right? And people aren't feeling that much. You want to know why? Check it out because in one scene, PS5 Pro does only 5 extra FPS and graphically it looks even worse than PS5. Check it out and you will see right